Well, howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with True Blue Blur. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, some people might not have even noticed that we replaced your head with Batman <laughs> until just that moment. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, so, also, I, I, I don't recall you your... You forgot to ask. I forgot to ask your name. Uh, you can call me crazy. Okay. So we got crazy on, on, on the line here. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Uh, a friend, friend of True Lubler, uh, and I think I've, I've, I think I've seen you at some point. You look very familiar, although you can't see on camera. So, um, I can, I can describe you any way that I choose. Yes, and, and this I'll is accurate. Just... You can describe me <laughs> however you want. I don't really care. And since I'm the man on the TV, um, my word is gospel. Uh, any that is how that works. Speaking, I'm pretty sure I'm the man. Uh, on the TV. Yes, we actually do have a special guest, Batman, uh, who, as you can see, is uh, with us. So, speaking of the gospel truth, uh, let's go ahead and start Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, from our save. I think we're in cloud save games. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure. So, it'll probably just kick us out exactly where we were oh we're only 17 percent through uh, that's counting all of the extra stuff oh so stuff we're not gonna do huh what oh you're <laughs> thanks for reminding me <laughs> that that always cracks me up uh so i, I actually kind of wanted you to put me on oh, do you want me to? Batman. Do you want me to actually, like, let me resize oh, you here for a second? On the big one. Like on. <laughs> okay, let me. This is this episode is going to be ridiculous. That actually kind of okay. Uh, there you go. We're not going to do this for all of them. <laughs> let me I just. Know what you're talking about. Okay, so uh, let's let's continue the story. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this oh, is this is what you're... episode eleven, I think. I, that sounds right. Yes. Oh, that guy's dead. Um, yes, actually, he is very dead. Uh, oh, oh I, this I is a Batman game. I don't believe you. If you check him, I guarantee he's alive. No, no, these are guards. He didn't kill them. Ah, the the uh, the psychopaths. Yeah, did it. So, mm. come on. Is it gonna come on? Show me. Let us know. Deceased. Darn. Uh, That's not what I intended to do, but okay. <laughs> um, I mean, is it easier to take him down from? Oh, no. Okay. I need to turn that off. There we go. Just another reason why Batman actually just needs a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like guns. Yeah. Um, Depends on who's writing him. <laughs> is there? Is, what? What? Do you know of a version of Batman that that uses guns more often? Ow! Uh, stop that. In the DCEU. Mm. Oh yeah, the movie ones. I never saw those movies. Neither so. have I, but I have seen <laughs> lots of ads. The the consensus that I've seen Ow. is... The knife guys. The pe knife guys. People don't like the movie, but they're glad that it exists. <laughs> That's kind of the consensus, consensus I've gotten from people who've actually seen it. Because um, at the very least, it's, you know, a movie. Uh, they can watch that <laughs> has Batman and Superman in it. So I mean, you know, technically better than nothing. Yeah. Uh. Hadouken. Throw <laughs> <laughs> you can. So uh, I suppose we could we could talk about uh, what we've been doing the past week. Uh, would you like to start crazy? Hmm? Would you like to start talking about what, you, what you've been doing for the past week? I've been doing. I've actually been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild this last week. You've been making good decisions this week. <laughs> yes. Um, Champions Ballad DLC is very worth it. Nice. Yeah, I I have the uh, season, or the, whatever the season pass is, basically. Whatever they called it for that game, yes. Yeah, so and I've, I've seen the bird around places, but I haven't really interacted with him in any meaningful way. So, are you supposed to just, like, he gives you clues, and then you... Uh, he gives you clues. He actually gives you clues to things that are in the base game. Uh, the DLC stuff he's actually he is directly involved in, but he's less giving you clues and more repeating the clues that have already been told to you by other things. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because he 
Because through that DLC, you get like the the cycle, right? Yes, yes. I just unlocked it. I haven't actually used it yet. Mm -hmm. Um. So. I think I've actually talked about this before on, on the channel, but um, my girlfriend has actually beaten Breath of the Wild, um, of which I'm very proud of her, because uh, she. It's, in here. It, it's hard to like, because she's the she's the type of gamer that like if something's too hard, she'll just hand me the controller, <laughs> and so the fact that she actually beat Breath of the Wild without like me doing anything, I'm 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 very proud of her. That's um, absolutely fair. Yeah, so it's it's she actually she beat Breath of the Wild before I did. Nice. <laughs> so good job. Um, although I actually I've done pretty much everything I need to do before I actually go to Ganon. I just haven't actually gone to Ganon yet. I'm kind of at the same point. You know? Yeah. Um, I I was gonna try to do the Trial of the Sword DLC, but it is. Hard. That's what I tried, yeah. And I was like, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's one of the first things that, like, was really, honestly, a challenge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel the same way. Most definitely. Like, there are other parts that were hard and were difficult, but, like, I can't even get to, like, the first checkpoint. Really? Wow. Like, I only know there are checkpoints because someone told me. Yeah, that's <laughs> after the, the talus. The I think I think after you beat the rock talus, the giant talus. Oh man, a rock talus! You have to fight a rock talus without like all of your stuff. I believe I believe that is Ooh. the case. Yeah. Oh man, those guys are tough. That's what I kept getting I need stuck on. Like, I usually expend like sixty freaking bomb arrows on those things. Ooh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's that's kind of the thing. Is I mean, if you can learn how to beat all that stuff. You kind of don't really need the Master Sword anymore, but then the Master Sword becomes like really powerful. Are they all gone? So it's yes. Uh, I wonder like what happened. Because all happens. So I wonder how they balance it after that then. Because you can just go in there and just wipe the floor with Ganon. After you I don't get know. the base power many. sixty Master Sword. <laughs> and then does it double to one twenty one when it's activated, or is it just always active at that point? What? I don't know. So, tell the truth, once I got the Master Sword, I didn't really use it all that much. Uh, mainly because I didn't want it to, like... Break. Break. And then go into, the, like, the charge. Because because it basically recharges. Yeah. And then I... Because... I don't know. I, it's that... Um, what's that... Uh, what What is that called? You know when you are playing through a game and... You basically are hitting the enemies with your pea shooter because you don't want to expend all your really good I, stuff. I don't know if there's a term for that, but I definitely do that when I play games like Fire Emblem. Yeah, isn't it like giant robot crab syndrome or something? Or I've definitely never heard that. I think I think that's what it's called. It's it's something ridiculous like that. But sorry, I just opened a soda. No, how, 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 how about how, probably how, hurt people's ears? <laughs> how dare so you? Rude. How about uh, how about you, True Blue Blur? Have you been doing anything in Terezant? A I've, this I've been doing things like you know getting sick. Oh, <laughs> I I'm pretty sure I got food poisoning on uh, sun. What am I standing on? Glass. No, kind of technically nothing. I am. I think I've got one pixel. Programming. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you, WB. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Thank you. um. I, uh, oh, I'm supposed to be searching for notes, right? I forgot about that. I'll go back down here. Uh, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I caught it on, like, uh, Sunday morning. Um, by the end of my shift at work, I could barely stand. I was exhausted and, and, uh, starving, but couldn't bear the thought of eating. Yeah. It wasn't good. It's been a long time since I've had food poisoning. Yeah, I'm, I'm still only just barely getting better. I think the last time I had food poisoning was... Well, I like to say that my ex-wife ex tried to kill me. Because um, I... Do. Okay, a riddle. Because I had... Um, I had both uh, vomit and um, the other thing coming out of both ends. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Um, so... Definitely not good. Uh, yeah, she was not a very good cook. Um, oh, so it could have just been she was really bad at cooking stir-fry. Um, but I like to say she tried to poison me. <laughs> So, of course you do. 
I mean, I have you know that I have good reason. So <laughs> um, I've I've told you stories. Ah, uh, yeah, I know it. But, Even so, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I I guess I could talk about what I've been doing for the past week or so. For sure. Uh, I mean, go for it. Because <laughs> all I've been doing is trying to force myself to eat all week. Yeah, he's barely eating anything. Oh God. It's it's difficult to want to. That is that is not good. Um. I mean, what have you been able to, to scarf down? Um, fruit has been okay so far. It's not uh, hurting me. Um, meat is hard for me to deal with. It's hard for me to want to. Really? Yeah. Um, chicken so far has been the only kind of meat that I can really handle. Hmm. I'm not finding any rooms to search. Because usually... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I have multiple coffee and soda trying to burp up here. Um... <laughs> Usually, like, meat is easier to process for the body. Yeah, I don't know. So, that's very strange. Then, you know, then, then fruit. But, uh... Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. It is, yeah. I'm, I, I'm getting better, but I'm still not there yet. I, um... And so you said that started Sunday morning? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday morning. Sunday morning, darn. So what is it do you think that you ate that, that did it? Well, I only ate one thing. <laughs> I had um, a, a Reuben sandwich from a, a place nearby. Oh, I probably need to go in there. Um, uh, uh, it was pretty good. It was a hot Reuben and pretty big. And it was like 9.30 in the morning um, driving to work. I ate that. Yeah, so you think it'd be fresh. Yeah, well, you know. it, it was, yeah, I, I assume. But, like, I know it wasn't dinner the night before. Because that's too long uh, mm -hmm. of a gap for me to just be getting symptoms. Yeah, you would have woken up during the night or something. Yeah, and uh, I literally did not eat any more food for the entire rest of the day. Jeez. So. I don't see anything in here. Um, so... That, that's the problem. Oh, so you're looking for, for Dr. Young's notes. I am, in fact. Try going down. Oh, not all the way down. Okay, oh. all the way down. <laughs> So look, right. look I, at the dudes. I can dudes. get back up to some places. Look at the dudes that were there. Um, oh no. Okay, I thought it might have been in the box or something, but yeah. okay. I had to disarm that. Uh, does detective mode provide any assistance? Well, that's what I've been walking around in in the first place. Hmm. This is the entryway that I came in on. Search the other rooms in the mansion for Doctor Young's. I, I well, guess we just let, have to. Let me backtrack a little bit. Just have to walk around, I guess. It seems like a lot of this mansion just isn't used. I know, right? Um, although, so you know. So I came in... This is the floor I came in on. I'm pretty sure I came in this door. So... No, apparently oh, not. So the, the, the last... <laughs> oh, this is the front door. The this last, is the exit. Um, it's nothing else. So last week, um, yeah. what I've been doing is, well, on the weekend, I drove down to Las Vegas. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. And uh, that was kind of uh, an adventure. I yeah, mean, for sure. I have no doubt. Oh my god, it's really boring. It's a, it's a real <laughs> well the the drive is really boring. That yeah. is. Um, I don't know if I can explain to you what it's like to drive ten hours in the desert, just yeah. in a straight line. Um, well, not well. It wasn't all in the desert. Maybe like seven, eight hours of it was just straight line through the desert. It does things to the mind. <laughs> I right. mean, there's a video game about that. Uh, Driving it, through the desert. Is it that bus one? Yes. It's the bus one, yeah. By Penn and Teller? <laughs> yes. Yeah, gotcha. All the puzzles by now. I, I hear they do like um, how, like charity runs for it. I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. there are people who do that. I forget what it's called. The game? Yeah. Desert bus. Desert bus. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> That'll do it. Um, but yeah, it's it's so incredibly boring. Um, I learned my lesson on the way back, and I downloaded a bunch of YouTube videos that I could listen to. Because <laughs> going, give yourself through, something. going through the desert, there were good stretches of time where I just had no signal at all whatsoever, and so I couldn't like make phone calls or uh, listen to YouTube videos. Or I mean, I could still do like GPS type stuff. Because I had the maps loaded, but mm -hmm. uh, that's about it, you know. And then out in the desert, you know, my antenna on my truck... Oh, excuse me. The antenna on my truck was so poor that I could barely pick up radio stations to begin with. 
Yeah. But out in the desert, I was picking up literally no radio stations. I was manually mm-hmm. flipping through the dial one station at a time because the the track uh, the seeking on my my truck's radio just doesn't work. So uh, yeah, I was pretty alone for uh, indeed. And, and I mean, the only conversations I had with people for like f- four days um, were hotel clerks, people in convenience stores. And it was all just strictly, you know, business. So I basically had no contact with anyone uh, other than, like, calls with my girlfriend for, like, four days. So it was, um, it does strange things to the mind. Okay, that was... (laughs) Uh, Fair. Okay. I mean, you do you, Batman. You do you. Speaking of you doing you, Batman, uh, we should probably call the episode here. Ah, okay. So, um... Since we're now, let me see, let me see here. Oh, that actually lines up pretty perfect. There you go. <coughs> so, again, my name is Frackbox. It's True Blue Blur. And I'm crazy. <laughs> and uh, have a great day. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. We got Batman here. Say bye, Batman. You know I'm Batman. <laughs> uh, ha- have a great day. Keep on running fast. <laughs>